This is a native Power BI column chart visual. In this visual, we have conditional formatting feature. Here we can click on this FX option and set our rules to dynamically format the color of these bars. But if we try to use a legend or another measure, we lose the conditional formatting option from the column colors. And now we need to manually select the colors for our bars or columns. In this video, we are going to use new Power BI feature with a DAX trick to achieve this dynamic conditional formatting in our clustered or stacked column charts. All right, in this clustered column chart, my forecast column is with a constant color, but total sales column is showing green if it is higher than the forecast amount. And it shows red if it is lower than the forecast amount in a particular month. Similarly, in this stacked column chart, I would like to apply dynamic colors only to my total sales bars, depending on it is higher or lower than the forecast amount. All right, here I am into this new PBX file and let me select month name and total forecast measure. Then I will create two DAX measures because I need dynamic formatting for my total sales column in this cluster column chart. My first measure name is total sales higher. Here I will validate. If my total sales amount is greater or equal to the forecast amount, then only calculate its values, else don't calculate anything. Now I can copy this measure and use it for my next measure, which is nothing but the total sales amount lower. Here I can just change its name. And this time, it should return its values only if total sales is lower than the forecast. At this moment, if I drag both of my newly created measures inside my cluster column chart, it will look like this. And then I can go to the formatting option for column colors and select colors for my measures. For higher sales amount, it should be green. And for the lower sales amount, it will be red. But this is still not that, what we were looking for. And here comes the latest Power BI feature, the layout option for these columns. It will be enabled only if we select all from the series. And then we can utilize these options, like overlap, gap between series, and many others, which was not possible before February 2024. I can even flip the overlap to send backward or forward. I can sort the order by values or reverse the order. With these customizations, now we get more flexibility in our column or bar charts. One important thing to do is to change the name of these measures and keep the exact same name for the both, which is total sales, so that it will not show two different names in the tooltip. These functionality will work for the stack column chart as well. And here we already have the flexibility to keep gap between the series. In one of our earlier videos, I created this visual for budget utilization percent. Here I had a single color, but I can actually have green or red color if it is over or below the limit, which in this case was 50%. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.